In today's video, I'll be showing you guys my best settings and four finger claw setup in Call of Duty Mobile Season 5. It has been over three to four updates since I made the last settings video. And in this video, I'll be showing you my current up to date settings in order to achieve aimbot in COD Mobile specifically. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get straight into my settings for this season of Call of Duty Mobile. So just going on to the settings, obviously starting with the controls for multiplayer mode, BR mode, zombies, I mean, you want to stick to advanced advanced is always the way to go we're not going to spend too much time on that so make sure you have advanced mode on and obviously you can customize how you want to shoot your guns uh, but if we scroll through here i have ads rifles on ads smgs and ads um, and just the rest of the stuff is kind of on hip fire lmgs i have ads so just depending on the type of gun you can either change it but it's all you know dependent on your play style so always use advanced no matter what moving on to basic aim assist on a uh, quick run on fixed right fire button on when you're playing right claw so that way the fire button doesn't affect your aim fixed virtual joystick display position you want to have that on continuous grenade throw you want to have that on quick weapon switch you want to have that on um let's see you want to have the right fire button for fixed perspective on as well and you want to have high prone button because it kind of gets annoying if you're playing on a smaller screen like on a phone for example you don't want to have so many buttons all over the place you want to have ads ads button for rotation on perspective teammate on so that way you can see your teammates through walls and that way you can kind of get an idea where your teammates are on the map and you want to get i have slide hint on you can actually turn that off if you want it doesn't really matter but moving on down to damage number i have this at 100 percent because obviously i want to see the transparency um so i actually have that on to 100 so it just starts with 100 so yeah ads tap to ads of course uh display left fire button i have that on as well um slide while running tap to crouch right so you know tap crouch while sprinting i've always sprint on because you know like i said i don't play snd so that's always going to be on for me uh, my fov currently is 80 and then my fov fpp is 50 currently and my these are my objective markers and my item markers for these settings as well they they're all at 100 nothing too fancy here my mini map is at 92 my opacity is on 100 for this i just kind of see a need enough you don't need to zoom this out all the way on the scale to see your mini map you don't want to have an obtrusive mini map where you can't actually see anything because it's so small and then for this stuff i have player in the center on map zoom 82 icon zoom 50 just to keep it a little bit more concise um and so for br mode I also have the same thing thing if we just click on br mode he's here as you can see i just have all these settings on as well i mean pretty much the exact same thing there's not really any difference um so i'm just going to scroll through this but instead you know here are the differences of course for the fov the fov here and then the type of effects and the sounds right so moving on to audio and graphics obviously i like to play on medium with ultra on the highest fps possible for br mode dynamic um, and then battle royale, here's the battle royale stuff, anti-aisling on, real-time shadows on, realistic scope on, and then multiplayer, um, anti-aliasing on, realistic scope on, and then obviously the rest of the stuff doesn't really matter, but here's going to be the graphics and frame rate, medium and ultra, and depending on the type of device, obviously you need to customize this to make sure it your device is running smoothly, of course. Next, sensitivity, the most important part, you want to do speed acceleration. A lot of people, and I got this so many times in the comments, people have arguments with me all over the place, regardless, you know, in regards to fixed speed. Here's the thing, with fixed speed, you cannot change your sensitivity rapidly in the type of positioning that you want for your aim. So what do I mean by that? If someone's doing crazy movement, if someone slides hard right, hard left on your screen and breaks your ankles in terms of trying to turn your screen to get onto their uh, to get onto them and aim on them, you won't be able to. And like the only way you're going to be able to combat this, and especially if you're a sniper player, if you're a sniper player and you like to snipe in in, in respawn game modes, you're going to have a hard time uh, readjusting your aim if you're not playing with this. And this works with anything: SMGs, ARs, shotguns, even snipers. Highly recommend using this. So my speed acceleration is 100. 15 make sure to use this i would actually give it a try at least to attempt it and if you're playing with finger slaves this will help you out more than you know my sensitivity switch i keep it on switch while opening ads it's a lot smoother and just a quicker and it's just snappier when you do that sensitivity presets not really much here just you know i keep it on custom because i want to you know move it myself so for standard sensitivity and camera sensitivity 118 ads sensitivity 182 red dot halo sensitivity 182 tactical scope sensitivity 38 sniper scope sensitivity 110 and then the rest is just sort of you know in the 50s 40s 2020s and then it's the exact same for firing sensitivity. I did not change it at all. So they're the literally the exact same as you can see here, 118, 182, 118, 182, 182, 38, 110. And these are just, you know, whatever. They're, they stay relatively the same. Gyro sensitivity, I do not use this at all. Gyroscope firing sensitivity. So either way, those are not even there. BR mode. BR mode, same freaking thing. There is not much of a difference. Maybe the third person sensitivity is obviously different, but here are my BR sensitivities here in case you guys wanted to see them. So you could just pause and just sort of see what's here and obviously that is going to be 
that for that. So that's going to be it. Here's my BR settings. And that is going to be that. All these are pretty much self-explanatory. You don't need to see these. But other than that, those are my settings. And here's going to be a quick, you know, a quick glimpse of my controls. So let's go to controls right here. Custom layout. This is how my control scheme setup is like yeah, the fire button there you have sort of the flamethrower there you have the uh thing over here the reload button so this is how i like to have my hud i play four finger claw and so all my stuff is basically in a stationary position but except for the fire button is really huge and i have my ads my jump button my slide button and my crouch button on the left my fire button on the right my mini map in the middle and then just the rest of my stuff on the side of my screen so this is kind of how it looks like and i hope you guys enjoy it and if you guys have made it this far into the video please leave a like leave a comment telling me what you liked about the video what you learned about how you you know and if and if these settings improve your gameplay as well and and if you're new here and you're a recurring a uh, person who watches my videos who is not subscribed please subscribe um we're going to be uploading quite frequently so i look forward to doing that and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one peace